my name is Alan Hart and today we're going to do a review of the Baxi 600. This review is going to be a little bit different than what most people will do. Um, I'm going to fully strip this down, I'm going to take every piece out of the boiler and we're going to look at all the different components um, and see how quick and easy it is to work on and service. So hope you enjoy the video. Please always ensure that you use a gas safe registered engineer when working on boilers. This video is not designed to be a training video, it's just designed to show you what the components are inside the boiler. So please always use a gas safe registered engineer. So I've got my Weira tool set. I've added a few extra bits into here. I've added a pair of grips. I've added an adjustable spanner and a little cheap electrical screwdriver. And I'm gonna see how much of it we can strip down with just these basic tools. And then if I need any other tools, I'll get, get whatever I need. So first of all, um, the boiler's working at the moment. It's fully working, it's heating, heating's on. So we're gonna disconnect the power, disconnect the gas and the water, and we're gonna drain the boiler down. So I've disconnected the power. We've taken out the two screws, or under the two screws, bottom, case off, front panel, insulation. So first of all, we're gonna drain it down. So we've just got a standard bleed key and the drain off point is here. So it's almost drained down now. So I'm gonna turn the gas off. Turn the water off. So as I say, this boiler has been on, it's been working. This this is too hot to work with at the moment. That is really warm. Um, so we're gonna start taking some other bits out that's not as hot and we'll give that a chance to cool down a little bit. So first of all, we're gonna take the side panel off just to make it easier to get into. We've got a screw here, screw here, one there. That should just lift off now. So you see there, that comes off nice and easy. It's got like a few lugs right back there that clips in, clips into them little slots there. So I think first job, we'll take out the expansion vessel. So we'll disconnect the flow sensor. So we're just gonna remove the silencer. So that just comes out nice and easy. So we've got a couple of screws at back and then we've got that connection at top there. So if we have a look on the back of there, it's got a little clip just to pull off. So then we've got a little nut on top of here. So that's your expansion vessel, nice and easy to get out. So now we're going to remove the burner. So it's cooled down now enough for us to touch it. Just looking at that connection there, it's, it's plastic is that connection. So you'd have to be, I think you'd have to be a bit careful with that connection. Ten mil. So just one thing to point out there, there's still like a little earth wire there. Just be careful with that. To be honest, I'm struggling a bit to get it off because you can't get your fingers in. Well, I've got it off, what a bit of a nightmare. If you have a look there, it's just there. So it's a bit awkward to get into, to pull it off, to get your fingers in, especially my chunky fingers. So now we're gonna take the diverter head off. So it's just got a little clip underneath there. 
so the head will just come off nice and easy so I'm going to take the condensed strap out so again that comes out nice and easy so now we're going to take out the main heat exchanger so just undo this bottom pipe so then you've just got some little clips on here some little clips here and then this pipe here just got a clip on there and there's a clip up here as well clips out so you just pull it forward a little bit and it all drops down nice and easy so if we're going to take the plate out two screws So we've got plate out. So divert the cartridge, let's see what that's made of. So it's all brass. Looks like a quality cartridge, does that? So to remove gas valve, you've got a little screw there, and that just comes off. And then if you have a look under there, there's some Allen keys, you just undo them, and then gas valve will just lift out. So I'll take off Hall effects sensor, so that's there. So we're going to have a look in, see what the flow turbine looks like on these. So let's have a look at your pressure switch. So that's surprising that. So that's mucky. Now bearing in mind, this has been put on a system with one radiator there's no soldered fittings on this, it's all press fittings. So if we needed to change PRV, so we could just take the front off, like so. I just wanted to take the full out, get it all out, just take that off. There's a little grub screw there. So to fully take this pump out and the block here, you disconnect the return underneath and the code and that just lifts out. So to do undo the left one, there's one screw underneath. Take off your hot pipe and your flow and then that just lifts out right then guys so what do we think um, lots of quality components in here um, very easy to strip down very easy to work on 
very impressed very impressed indeed um, thanks for watching so we've managed to put all the boiler back together now and we're just going to test it all with us cane flue gas analyzer just to make sure it's all safe thanks for watching